para no can any let a mo kombung on Man of the Citizens Alliance, good morning viewers, um, wherever you may be watching us from, uh, we say in a very warm good morning. Welcome back to another press conference, a very important press conference uh, where we have two important agenda items to speak to you or update you in regards to the High Court judgment we just obtained uh, within the course of this past week and also the way forward for the party, for Citizens Alliance, in regards to this judgment and going forward. It is really important as a party. Uh, we, we believe that we are, we are founded under the ideals of democracy, transparency, civil, civil liberty, and we believe in engaging the citizenry, our membership, to um, better inform them of um, CA's activities. And uh, this is one of the most important, um, if, um, if I may say, because you all know the challenges we've been encountering from our nomination to date. And um, as citizens who really believe and who are advocates and of processes and procedures, we felt our rights were curtailed and there is no better place to, 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 to go to but to go to the courts to seek redress. And we did just that. And of course, we went there with a, a strong belief that we have a, a very independent judiciary system. And of course, they've really attested uh, to that fact. And a judgment was really delivered, of course, in our favor. And we are happy that that has happened. And we are happy that CA tested the waters, even though a lot of people felt it was not necessary. But we believed in ourselves, and we did it. And of course, the outcome just demonstrated that that is the right thing to do. So um, I will not delve much into, into details of what, why we're here, but allow um, our party leader, presidential candidate, Dr. Ismaila Sise, to get into details of today's engagement with you, the media, uh, to better inform the citizenry. So thank you very much. Stay tuned because there are a lot of, lot of, lot of details that really you all need to know and we will bring it to you. Thank you very much, Dr. Thank you very much. Uh, Ms. Nene Frida Gomez, thank you very much. Good morning, everyone. Good morning, uh, personnel from the media fraternity. We welcome you to this, to yet another press conference. As usual, whenever we call on the media to come and talk to Gambians through you, you are always here to uh, cover our press conference. So we thank all the media houses here today, those that are covering the event live. Uh, but also those that are here to cover it and might play it on their platforms later on. We thank you very much. Uh, we also extend greetings to every Gambian out there, both in the diaspora and in the Gambia, and also to all party members, also both in the diaspora and in the Gambia and all the regions of the country. Good morning to you all. Um, as you may recall, on the 6th of November, 2021, the IEC had a press conference at Election House announcing the candidates that went for nomination, uh, whose nominations were rejected. Unfortunately, Citizens Alliance was one of the political parties whose nomination was rejected. IEC citing that we failed to meet one of the requirements of submitting 
at least 200,000 signatures or nominees from the Banjul administrative area. And because of that, our nomination was rejected. And our aspiration to run for president was disqualified. In accordance with the law, with the Electoral Act, we had 48 hours to appeal the IAC decision. But before appealing the decision, we spoke with our members, our supporters, our militants to stay calm so that we can follow due process. Because this country is a country of laws, so therefore whatever we do, we follow the law. Fortunately, our militants really accepted our advice and they stayed calm while we followed the due process. We appealed within 24 hours and the following day we got a letter from the IEC that our appeal was rejected and that decision stands that they will disqualify citizens alliance and their presidential candidate because we failed to meet the requirements for banjul we knew that even though there's a clause in the electoral act which says that IEC's decision is final we knew that law is a bad law it was a decree from 1996 and therefore in this case our rights were violated our fundamental rights as enshrined in section 26 of the constitution was violated we sought redress at the courts so we filed the case at the courts to hear the matter and make a judgment the court had the matter it took one week precisely because it's a matter of public interest and it's a matter of elections there was no time we thank the judiciary for expediting the case and made sure that the judgment was delivered within seven days. On Tuesday, the 23rd of November, judgment was delivered at the High Court that the IEC acted beyond their powers and they violated their own laws, which is the Electoral Act, because why they failed to follow due process in determining our nomination and the subsequent rejection. The law is very clear. Section 47.3 makes it clear that where a candidate files a nomination and the nomination is incomplete or there's a defect, the IAC shall, before the close of nomination, notify that candidate so they may remedy or and or cure any defect therein before nomination closes. But IAC failed to do that. In fact, the procedure in which they were supposed to inform us of our rejection was not done in accordance with the law. They are supposed to fill what they call Form 3 and give us duplicates. Before nomination closes, they failed to do that. We heard about our rejection like everybody else at a press conference. Because of this issue of law, the High Court made a ruling that IEC acted in a manner which is not in line with their own very law that they violated their law and they failed to follow due process. So the court made a ruling that the IEC should allow Citizens Alliance to submit fresh nomination papers for the Banjul administrative area. Then they should allow us to run for president in December 4th. So this is the ruling of the court that we should submit fresh papers. We did that yesterday at 11.40. We submitted 331 signatures from Banjul. But remember that according to IEC, as seen in the court papers, so after us, of the 296 signatures we submitted previously, only 115 were valid. The rest, they said, we lost the duplications. That is, one person cannot nominate two candidates. The candidate that submits for us becomes valid. So because we submitted after many candidates, and that is was IAC's decision because they made the timetable. So we had 115 valid signatures with IAC. Yesterday we submitted 231. It means IAC should have enough signatures from us to make sure that we meet the requirement of the 200. So yesterday, in accordance with the court ruling that we were given the chance to submit fresh nominations, we did that yesterday and submitted 331 at 11.40 at election house. However, we are privy to very credible information 
that the IEC wants to spitefully exclude us, exclude my candidacy from the December 4th presidential elections. This is very credible information. They've made up their mind. They're determined. And we'll give you reasons why. That they want to exclude us from the December 4th elections. Which one is in violation of our fundamental rights, but also in contempt of court order. We heard yesterday that they had appealed uh, the court ruling. But that appeal does not stop the court order until there's a stay of execution from the same court. Once that stay of execution is not served to us, therefore IEC must go ahead and consider our application and process our application as soon as possible to allow us to run for the December 4th presidential elections. Again, we have very credible information that they are now planning to also reject the papers we've served them yesterday on non-legal grounds. The only reason they can reject nomination papers is on legal grounds. We also have credible information that they are planning to reject our nomination papers. We served them yesterday on non-legal grounds. Now, IEC's blatant violation of the Election Act should be a cause of concern for everyone. IEC failed to follow their own laws, that is Decree 78 or the Election Act, by not complying with Section 47.3 and Section 47.1 of the Electoral Act. By doing so, they fail to comply with their own law. IEC are vehemently bent on depriving us or myself of my constitutional right to run for office on December 4th. We went to the courts, and the courts made a ruling that the whole world heard about, that IEC acted outside the framework of the law and they should allow us to run for office. They are now bent on frustrating the judgment by filing an appeal only to delay and stall my opportunity to contest for the December 4th elections. IEC is showing bad faith in this case. They are acting in a discriminatory manner and they are excluding or they are using exclusionary tactics and we have very little faith and trust in their ability to conduct a free and fair election. Let me repeat this because this is very important. And IEC is acting in bad faith. Let me repeat. IEC is acting in bad faith. They are discriminatory and they are exclusionary. Elections are supposed to be about inclusion and not exclusion. And we have very little faith and trust in the IEC ability to conduct a free and fair elections. We are aware that the IEC lacks the capacity and the competence and are ill-prepared for the logistical nightmare of handling this many candidates in this year's presidential elections. This is not our fault. And so we should not be punished for this. We think it is unfair to arbitrarily prey on myself and Honorable My Party and other candidates. Therefore, 
we call on civil society, we call on the international community, we call on observers who are here to observe the elections, both international and local observers, and we call on all citizens to be vigilant as the IEC is unfit for purpose. We are going into a very high stakes elections this year. We love our country and we will jealously guard its peace and stability. But IEC's actions had the potential to derail our elections and undermine the peace and stability of this country if their spitefulness is not restrained. An important election like this, IEC cannot act like we are in a dictatorship. One man runs the institution as we speak, and that is Sambu Jai. He decides what happens. He decides who will run and who will not run. An institution like IEC cannot be run by one man like it's a dictatorship. The chairman of the IEC is weak. He's not in charge of that institution. It is Sambu Jai who controls. And we are privy to credible information. The stakeholders had asked them to allow and follow due process. And in fact, they'll give extra support to make sure due process is followed. But Sambu Jang is saying no. And he must ensure that Citizens Alliance is not on the ballot box. This is spitefulness. This is vindictiveness. And we will not accept it. Sambu Jang needs to be restrained. Or he will single-handedly jeopardize the peace of this country. In fact, and I say this with confidence, and I'm going to repeat this, I want everybody to listen to this. We have credible information and evidence that Sambu Jang Jai has leanings to a particular political party in this country. And we are going to reveal that evidence when the time comes. We are doing this for country because we love our country. We don't want the country to burn. That is why we are doing this. That Sambu Jang Jai has leanings to a particular political party that he's conspiring with the 2021 presidential elections, and we have evidence for that. Now, as an independent institution established by the Constitution, we expect the IEC to operate within the framework of the law, within the spirit and substance of the law. It should be guided by the principles of fairness, equity, and transparency. Unfortunately, that is not the situation. We are informing the IEC that we are going ahead. We've done what the courts has told us to do. Therefore, we are going ahead to start our political campaigning on Sunday, and nobody can stop us. We are starting our campaigning on Sunday, and we are going to contest these elections, and Sambujang and IEC cannot stop us. We are more reserved now than ever, ever before. We've been patient for far too long, and they've pushed us to the wall. We've been restraining our militants and our supporters for far too long, and they are also getting fed up. Therefore, IEC must be restrained, or we cannot be restrained any further. We are going for elections. We are going to start our campaigning on Sunday, and let us inform everybody of that status quo. And Sambujang or IEC cannot stop us. This is the situation as it is. Everybody knows that IEC is bent on ensuring that we don't contest because they've already made a determination. And in a meeting recently held by IEC and stakeholders, IEC or Sambujang's main argument is that they've already printed the papers, they've printed the ballot boxes, they cannot come back and print new papers. That is not our fault. He must follow due process. IEC must follow due process. So let everybody be informed this is the situation. We are ready to go and start our campaigning on Sunday. And we are going into these elections and we'll see who is going to stop us. Thank you. That frank, frank submission. Uh, viewers, uh, this is a press conference uh, organized by the Citizens Alliance. Um, just to engage with you and tell you the, st uh, the, the, the state of affairs of um, the party.
we've obtained a judgment, we followed due process, uh, we believed in the judicial system, we sought redress, and a judgment has been obtained. We believe that nobody is above the law. The IEC as an institution is not above the law. And Sambun Yang Yai, as an individual, is not above the law. And Sambun Yang needs to realize that and understands that a court judgment needs to be respected and not flaunted. We will continue to believe in the judicial system. The court has ruled, we know what we need to do, we know when we need to do it, and nothing like doctor said can stop us from doing what we need to do because we followed due process. Uh, I will, at this point in time, like to thank the judiciary under the leadership of Mr. Jalo and all the judges, everybody that took part in this process to ensure that democracy is respected, democracy is promoted, and the rule of law prevails. Uh, this was a class act uh, uh, judgment done in a very short time, a week, because they also are aware that this is a public interest case that they put everything possible to make sure it's determined to ensure that our rights are really not curtailed, like the IEC are bent on doing. It's a country of law and the law will always prevail. At this point in time, um, I just wanna say also that, you know, IEC tried to break the idea and they could not. To break the message, they could not. Now they're going after the individual and I bet you they will fail once again because we are Citizens Alliance and we have standing, we believe in something, we believe in ourselves and the people and the Gambia and the potential of the Gambians. And we will just do just that. At this point, I will um, invite you, the media, to ask questions um, based on the submissions that doctor has made in regards to our challenges, our setbacks, and the way for where we are right now. And we'll be happy to answer it in any in any language either english mandinka wolof and 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 we can answer it go ahead Thank you, Keba. You know you're a journalist, isn't it? Do you reveal your sources? <laughs> yeah, we, 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 that is why we are see, picking here. We cannot come and sit here and make frivolous claims. We verified our information strictly. We are not, we know, we are very serious about politics about this country. Therefore, we've also been doing our investigations because we know what's happening. Gambia is, belongs to every one of us. This information is credible. It is verified that IEC is spitefully determined to stop Citizens Alliance from running these elections, and we have evidence. Yeah, again, um, in order not to amplify um, allegations and substantiated um, evidence, um, the Uh, would you please um, give us a little bit uh, scenario uh, that could be connected to, to, to understand that IEC is discriminating against the uh, UCC alliance or the candidate for the UCC alliance? Because you mentioned that. But look, but look at what happened. Mm -hmm. We submitted our nomination forms on Tuesday, the, 4th, the 2nd of November. The law is very clear that if a candidate's nomination is incomplete, you notify them using a particular form and give them the chance to resubmit. They never did that. That is why it started. Why didn't they do that? Why didn't they follow their own law? And the court vindicated us that they failed to follow their own law in dealing with our case. That's what, what is even more, much worse than that. You see the law. The law says that notify them and give them a, an opportunity. You refuse to do that. And we appealed. When we appealed, we brought to their attention the section where they violated. It is when later after that, they want to serve us with their letter. 
that where that where they back that where they were supposed to do initially they never did that and we met them at the office at the iec when we sent the appeal they called us to the iec you know what they were telling us we don't have time you can go to the courts if you want in fact we are very busy right now and they were being arrogant they don't own that institution. That institution is owned by the government people, by the taxpayers. When we own, they are working for us. So those are some of the examples. And now there's a court order. You don't want to follow the court order. The court ruling was on law. And you are saying you want to appeal. Just all this for delay tactics. This is more, what is more blatant than this? Keva. This is, that, that's the situation. The courts, we respect the process. That is why I went to the courts. If there's a state of execution, that's why I said non legal. If the if if they want to stop us from running, the rejection is on legal matters. We will accept it. The country is a country of laws. If there's a state of execution and we are served, we'll not go ahead. We'll follow the court's ruling. But there is no state of execution and there is no legal evidence to show from the IEC. Why they should reject our fresh nomination papers. It doesn't exist. So that is why we are not going to follow what they are going to do. We are going for elections. We are going for we are going forced to campaign. Okay. Go ahead. Bola wonyu ko dañu ko yaxal dañ jagat suñu ak ak suñu elef ñep xam nañ ko lool motax sax mo waral ka bi ci code bi ñun buñu demé ci code bi lool lañ fa doon wéranté fofu nonu né dañ jalgaté suñu ak ak suñu elef parce que ñuñ wara doxalé doxalé wuñ nonu li ci gëna liñ ci gëna ñaawlu moy légui yenen candidat buñ nekké di campagne ñun ñu ci code room bi di xex li nga xamné moy suñu boss légui am nañ ko ñu lé né garawut ñak né ñaari semaine ci campagne bi semaine bu dess ni ñu mën ko campagne ba légui ñu ngi tiir rek ñu 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 mëna dem lo mo tax ñun duñ leen faalé ñun dimanche bi ni su nexé yalla suñ ko féké inshallah ñu ngi start suñ campagne suñ nit ñi nak bu li xéwé ma ngi leen né dal leen téy leen waye fum nekk ni mën ma ci ñom dara ñom ñu ngi paré pour campagne pour gëna ci pour campagne bu baaxa baaxa baax nako ñep xamé non mom moy ki nga xamne mo nek di la yaha kurel bi nga xamne moy IEC IEC ñepp ko mom moy li nga xamne dañ ko denka pour moy setu mbiri tan kenen mu fa nek di dogal di fok nek moko mom te ñun am nañ information yo xamne li yeb mo nek ci ganaaw mo de bañ ne li du am li du am li du am te lolu bu ñu ko nangu kenen nit mu nta ya suñ ak ak suñ yel ñu loi bi lañu topa dem nañ ci loi bi loi bi waxna dess ci ñom pour légui ñu dogal suñu dogalut nak ñu nañ leen dogalal evidence is very clear ñu ñu evidence evidence dañu ngi try pour ya suñu campagne bi mu ngi clair ñu ngi appeal pour waste time ñu ngi ñu ngi topuñ loi bi duñ ko wara topé di ci commencement bi lepp mu ngi les jaru ma jël fu mu nek journaliste yena wadem liggey nak yena wadem hol la la ayc doon def depuis commencement bi légui bo ci sa bi ñu ko am ci o ñu dem fofu no gis na ñu doxalé té liñ gis ayc ñu ño doxalé buñ fa démé xam nga li yit dafa tax ba ñun ñu gëna xam IEC nit ki doko xam ba nga commencer di jëflanté ak mom dañ ko bëdé jëflanté ak IEC ci diiru gata yi ni ñu gis lu nekk bir IEC bës bu nekk ñu ngi fa amuñ capacity amuñ competence lu leen neex lañu def kenn di mo dogal fofu non parce que dañ ko dé gis buñ fa dé ba ñun duñ ay xalé gis nañ yo mos nga gis ki nga xamné kuré bu melni IEC am lo loya sa bir IEC yeen né yena dé ci loi lu bu ki loi di ko nañ ko interpréter sen bopam ñun buñ fa dem sax dañ ñëm ak suñu loya pour ñu xam luy xew yena nga ñu ci meeting bam mimpo issue len loya ngeena ja passanté book loi bi fi la section bi wax yeen do len avocat so ñun gis nañ fa duga nañ gis nañ nek ICD 
mënuñu doxal doxal bo xamné moy ta élection mu jaddu ci yoon lool lañu wax ba ko ko man mo ne kat ya ay ici lu mo doxalé du dégat bu yoon té way lo bëgg ma wax la nak wa na la né mané lu ñoo doxalé bir ay ici moy bu moy bu moy dok moy moy dogal mo lu ko né la mo def fofu nonu parce que ba mënum am nga yéné mënuñ ko wax parce que ñun tamit amna ñu di audio information yo journaliste nga do dé reveal sa sources lu ñoo wax moy né xam nañ luy dox bir ay ici dem nañ fa dugg nañ fa gis nañ mom sambu jang ci bopam buñ fa démé bu mu ñu oy lu mu ñu wa man awma sen time su leen yé ngeen dem court ais yobu nañu court seven times at dini nit na wax lolu yé nga ngi légal kuré li nga wax lolu so ñun oluñ ais ci né na mëna doxal doxal limbo xamné moy tax ba ñam élection bu amné moy jaar ci yoon last question ba ta ta last question ni ma so dini ais ci bolu la ci ni wala def ka bi est ce que ni ko du yanga do wax yahul men loi ben loi la yahout parce que jox nañ ay ici suñu itinéraire ba paré buñ doon submit ñu ngamé suñu itinéraire dimanche dinañ gëna campagne ay ici ñoo nekk di yahout loi parce que code dafa mekké ruling né nañ ñu bayé ñu commencé ñu bokk ci élection yi ñu ngi bëgg bañ yahout ben loi té dimanche lañ gëna pour campagne no lo nañ ñoo ak information bo léra wa dimanche dañ nañ campagne na kan hotel yi unfortunately but we know we know the conspiracies we know everything that's happening we are we are when we into politics we know what's happening we also did our investigations and we are keep we are still investigating not yet that's for legal costs we are yet to uh send an invoice to IC to pay that money we will claim it very soon all right thank you very much um nene it's your press conference <laughs> well thank you very much thank you in the absence of any other questions uh, i just want to say thank you to you the media here present our partners our wonderful partners suñu gañi samay samay ay nit dal man ak yeen yeen ak man euh di wax ñi ñuy sétane jëgë jëf euh ci topa yi ngeen ñuy topa sa yu nek buñu ôté ngeen bay sen time pour ñew déglu pour dégg li ñuy wax té yaakar na né euh liñ dey wax yépp euh nek na lo xamné dafay indi yokuté ci askan bi dafay indi yokuté ci gambian gi euh ñun nak citizens alliance euh am nañ gum gum am nañ yaakar né euh li wara am dina am té dina am ci anam bi wara amé ñi dogal nak ñi nga xamné ñoo ñu yalla tek pour ñu dogal mbir mi ñoo nek ñoo xamné euh seen mbir dafa hawa xajam tollu nañ ci time bo xamné euh ñu ci bari ñu ngi focus djublu euh seen djublu way yépp ci liñ bëgg ñu wara defaral loolu su déné djubuñ fokku mo né di ngeen égga so ñu ngi wax nit ñi ñu bayyi xel ci li buñ xaar ba élection passé ku nek di yuxu né li amut li amna li amut yalla def na né ndogal bi ñun la ko tek pour ñu jank wanté jafé jafé yi ni pour mëna xam xajëm xajëm bi nek bir IEC ak ñana nek di xajëmal way ñu ci bari nekuñ nak di ci bayyi xel nekuñ di ci bayyi xel ñu ngi len di ñaax pour ñu bayyi ci xel liñ wara def ñu def ko ki ci wara wax nga wax ko waxuñ kenn nañu xex suñu xex parce que ñun mën nañu xexal suñu bop xam nañ naka lañ ko xexé xam nañ fuñ ko xexé te loolu lañ nekk di def waye ñu ngé o nit ñi di len é pour ñu bayyi xel ci li parce que yaxu yaxu dina am te bala ño tok di né ñu ngé joy loolu dafa fekk passé na ñun nak def nañ ko right time bi so dess na ci ñom it ñu def liñ wara def kon nak di len wax jëre jëf be benen yoon Uh, bu jamono warale ñu dajé wat dinañ dajé thank you very much and you all have a blessed blessed friday thank you fo mbok yi sirane gambian talent tv ni ki ko ron defé ci tobi ba tay muy video as presentation tan ni la taka ko do mu taka bo nak uk europe usa canada switzerland ani ñim banku tomal mu meto supersonics lay tadu laté ana da di ma sanji jama gambia banko kam se ko do ta nole ibe dawo da birin katong fokoyna andum batati ji
Hade batati ji. Isa kudo ta no la kabonam bantala banko to bidding UK, Europe, USA, Canada, Switzerland. Ani nyim banko to mal mu beto. Na doku sone yata atari yata akoyita andung alan na yata. Gambia banko kan supersonics leading kiral si yata katambi nyim to mal mu meti. Supersonics be banko tan sabani nani leto fata findu banko to. Dung ila Google Play Store to wala ila Apple App sign sign ye supersonics la money transfer app download. Okay, if I'm going to find a service